Hello everyone. So today I am going to present you the demo for credit scoring app. Uh, we have gone through various research papers and various documents providing us the insights for what are currently being used for credit scoring and what are best things that could be done. And we are currently providing you three types of methods through which we can perform credit scoring. One of them is rule-based, and the one is statistical-based, and the third one is ML-based, machine learning-based. So through this demo, I would like to see the inputs that the user community wants to have changes and what are the feedbacks about it. So I'll start by showing you the rule-based methods. So in a rule-based method, we have we allow uh, the user to create a feature. So features are something which are going to be used. For example, salary. It's like we are going to set scores for salary. What should be the score? Uh, what should uh, like should we give out loan based on what the current salary is? So this is going to be what a feature should look like. So currently, I'll go give you an example. For example, uh, gender. So gender is a feature where we will use it, and there are various value types. For example, binary, nominal, interval, and ratio. So different value types are like binary here, as I can give an example of. So binary is something that uh, that have only two values, either yes or no, one or zero, true or false, male or female. So we can see that gender is a binary type. So binary. And then we see the data type. Is it a numeric? Is it character? Or is it date? Uh, we have to select this because there would be different processing for each of the data types and each of the value types. And then we select the category for which this feature is going to be selected. For example, is the loan being sanctioned against an individual or an organization? A country is there because sometimes we have to take into consideration which country the person is residing in because that actually takes a lot of value. For example, there are some of the things that happen in a country, for example, a military coup, a depression coming out in a country that can actually lower down the value of currency. So these all are the things that can come into account. I can show you an example of already created feature, uh, like for example, gender as we were talking. As we double click it, uh, I have stated gender initially. So as we double click it, we have already we have already filled the things here, and we can actually change it here, and we can update it and submit it again. Now, in the next screen, we will create a configuration for this feature. Uh, what I mean by creating a configuration is we are assigning a weightage to it. So the weightage should be between zero and one. Uh, this weightage will be multiplied by the score that we'll be providing in the next screen, and which would be then used to find out whether we should give a loan or whether we should decline a loan request. And we are here providing three colors, and which the color actually means that should we give a loan, uh, which is signified by green. Then the color amber signifies that we are a bit dicey about giving loan, and the color red signifies that we should decline the request of loan. And we can actually score the uh, we can actually set the scores ourselves, and the scores won't be overlapping because we have set it that way that if the last value of green is three, then the next should start from four. Yeah, so we can set it here anything, and it will go till ten. I'll show you an example here. Uh, just a second. So here we see this, and we can change the scores accordingly by double clicking it. Uh, now I'll show you the next screen, which is the creating a criteria. So now we're creating a criteria. Criteria here means providing the scores that I mentioned in the last screen to feature. So here we have produced gender, and then what this uh, sorry feature would be used again sanctioning loan for what type of product? So individual. Then what is the data source from where this feature value would be coming out? Would it be an XML? Would it be a JSON? Would it be an SQL? Now, we are providing all these features because sometimes, for example, if a feature is civil score, we can't get a civil score of anyone in our database, so we have to get it through an online request. And we are using REST APIs here. REST APIs are basically something that we can uh, make a request to another website to get a detailed information or get a certain information that we're requesting for. And sometimes that requires authorization, and 
we current don't have the authorization process yet but we will soon be applying that too i'll show an example of uh, xml uh, yeah an xml file so here it is uh, i have just set for the id3 work 15 and depth uh, depth is, is it is he has already had a depth or not yes so this is just a uh, sample data i will show you an example here uh, like this so here we are selecting the key salary uh, you can see here the key Sorry, here, yeah, the key salary here, and it will it will be sanctioned against the loan ID three. So now this thing, the loan ID that we are giving, we would be doing it on runtime. So we just have to fill in the SQL API here from where we are fetching the data, and then the loan ID would be filled in next scene. So it would be runtime. We don't have to hard code it in the back, or you have don't have to change the code again and again. So. For XML and for JSON, we require the key, but for SQL, we would be providing an SQL statement for fetching the data. Now we have various criteria and scores. So what I mean by criteria here is, for example, we are talking about salary here. So if the salary is between zero and twenty thousand, we are assigning a score two to it. If the salary is between twenty twenty thousand to sixty thousand, we are assigning a score four to it. And similarly for sixty thousand to one lakh, we are assigning a score eight. So what these scores would be doing as we assigned a weightage in the previous screen, this that would be multiplied by the score here, and a final color would be generated out uh, with whose boundaries were set in the last screen. So now I'll be showing you a scorecard. For example, uh, we show and we select. Uh, we sorry, we take the loan ID three and we select rule based. Now I'll be going fetch details, and as we see that the overall score is 15.60, summing up all these and for individual scores, and then we are getting an overall color as amber. That we are a bit dicey about giving the loan, and also we can check which of the factors were favoring the loan and which of the factors are not favoring the loan. For example, age, it wasn't favoring the loan. However, the gender was favoring the loan. The work, sorry, work was favoring uh, was a bit dicey. And the loan was favoring to provide a loan. Now, uh, sorry. Now I'll show. You, uh, yeah. So other two methods are statistical and machine learning. For statistical methods, we have actually implemented three or four schemas, uh, three or four methods to get out uh, to get that should we give out a loan or should we decline the request of loan. For that, we went through various research papers that what are the methods currently being used and what we should implement in our Current scenario. So we can select the statistical one here, and after we do fetch details, uh, you see that we get a prediction red and an accuracy amber. I'll show you here. Uh, this is a type of JSON we will be getting in, and we can see that uh, I'm showing you the color here. We, it would uh, we have set it uh, previously, and for example, if the accuracy is between 45 to 65, it will be going out red. If the accuracy between 65 to 85, it will be amber, and if it is between 85 to 100, it will be showing green. And we are actually setting up the type of model that we want to use here. Uh, so, and we will be showing, uh, like, we will be giving it uh, an access to user to the type of model that he wants to select. So here, accuracy shows amber. That means, uh, if we see according to here, that means the accuracy of the model is between 65 to 85. What I mean by accuracy is from all the previous data that we have, when we tested it out on them, it was showing it was showing correct results for 65 to 85 percent of the data, and according to them, we should not give out loan. The prediction is red. Now, similarly for machine learning, we tried all the three possible outcome uh, possible methods there: probabilistic, statistical, and also a human interaction. Be uh, sorry, not interaction. Human mind-based method that is neural networks. So when we select machine learning here, sorry, I am fetching data, and here we see the prediction is one, which means that we should not give out the loan, and the accuracy zero point six eight, that is sixty eight percent of the accuracy is there. So this is currently what all we have done, and we are now actually trying to add a screen here that would allow you to add your own data set. And test it on that. Apart from that, we have also implemented a batch learning process, which means that 
we have set a different configuration file that would contain the information about a data set and whether the data set has been changed from the previous training method or not. So what we are currently doing is that whenever a data set, a new entry is being made to a data set, so the learning process happens again and fits the new data on the data uh, on the model. So this actually this eventually would make the model better as so as we get more data. So initially, if we don't have data, we can go through rule based methods or statistical methods. Well, statistical also requires some data. So but as we get more data, we are we can shift to the machine learning ones. And yeah, so this is all of the stuff that I have currently done in my GFOC period. And I'm looking forward for the inputs of user community and their feedback regarding it. And whatever I would say the feedback would be, I'll try to improve as much as I can. Thank you, everyone.